new maps coming to the HCS playlist, and the removal of Spartan Charge and Ground Pound. Stay tuned for more information. Well, how's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update information about anything involving Halo. Today, we're giving you some HCS information updates here. We have some new content and some crucial gameplay changes coming to the next season of HCS. So let's get right into the information here. Before we get into the information, if I ask you a favor, please make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps this channel get some more notoriety. It helps this video get noticed around by more people so more people know about the news updates coming to Halo, especially the HCS playlist. It really helps the community stay informed. And if you want to see some more content from me, make sure to tap subscribe for future content. So let's get right into the video here. Recently, 343 played around with some more ideas by adding some more maps to the HCS playlist, particularly Forge maps, because, well, Halo 5 Forge is freaking amazing, so why not use that awesomeness to better your game and the better the game experience for everybody? So, three, recently, 343 picked out seven maps that they felt that had the potential to be an HCS quality map, something that, that could be played in tournament play. Now there were some rumblings and some people wanting to have a remake of Sanctuary from Halo 2 uh, into the HCS playlist but uh, you know they just went like you know what we can't do we can't do all the things to make everybody happy so Sanctuary is a great map I don't know how well it would play in Halo 5's mechanics so hopefully these newer maps would uh, first of all bring a nice breath of fresh air to the playlist as well as a uh, Presenting some new gameplay opportunities and also just showcasing the amazingness that Halo 5 Forge is. But one of the two maps that's going to be added to HCS is going to be called Fisher. This map is a uh, very, almost has like a essence of Guardian because it has like a disc in, in the center of the map. It has kind of like two bases on either side, but plays very differently. There's a bunch of skill jumps you can possibly make in that one. There's multi-tier leveling. Uh, I think that watching what some HCS players can do with the understanding the new uh, mechanics of Halo 5. I think seeing pro players really get into this map I think would be a really entertaining style of gameplay. Now 343 does mention this this map could be a potential map for Oddball though nothing set in stone right now because we still need to work out more the details of how the weapon placements are going to be and what kind of game modes can really work for this map. But 343 is going to move forward with Fisher as a map. The other map being added to the HCS place is Echelon, which is going to be a kind of more industrial kind of feel kind of thing to the map here. Uh, they say that this map's going to probably play out more for Oddball and Strongholds, which I could totally see that. Uh, maybe not so much Slayer because it's much more, it's, it's the routing on it, it's very much about holding certain positions. I feel like the map's rather segmented out in these certain locations where I think uh, you can kind of set up a defensive kind of positioning where I think Oddball or Strongholds would work out really well on this map. So um, as you can see in the gameplay here, walking around and check so you guys can get a visual of what the map is like. Um, I might go on live stream and probably play these maps a little bit. So if you guys want to jump in the live stream, make sure to follow the link in the description down below for, on my Twitch account. And that uh, we can maybe get on and play a few matches of these HCS maps. And now the news that you're probably here for, and it's the removal of Ground Pound and Spartan Charge in just the HCS playlist, not Halo as a whole, just the HCS playlist. Uh, 343 states that they're trying to slow down the gameplay of, of competi competitive gameplay. And so then it re reduces the amount of snowballing effect that kind of happens with Halo 5, because Halo 5 is very much about momentum and how well your team is doing at that moment. And it does really, and if your team can control power weapons, they can really give your team a nice like 20 kill swing almost if you really utilize it correctly. And so the 343 is trying to make reduce that much. And so then you have much more competitive matches playing out. But can I just say, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Thank God, Spartan Charge has been removed. This is the most frustrating thing about the game, in my opinion. Of anything in Halo 5, it's Spartan Charge for me that just grinds my gears, and I'm so glad that's going to be removed in the HCS playlist. I'm guessing it's probably going to be the only playlist I'll be playing now in Halo 5, that and maybe like Warzone, and that's probably about it because I cannot stand Spartan Charge. And I'm so happy it's being removed. It's such a get-out-of-jail-free card to reward players for playing recklessly. And that's something that Halo's never really been about. So if you're happy or upset about the removal of Spartan Charge and Ground Pound, 
please let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Also, the removal of Ground Pound is kind of whatever for me. I feel like for HGS, yeah, probably should remove it. Uh, though, honestly, I really like Ground Pound. Yeah, I hate it when it's done to me, but I absolutely do it to other people, especially like in Warzone. I find it so damn gratifying when you're just flying from the top rope and just ah, right onto a noob. It's so satisfying. It's a terrible move, and I love it at the same time. Now, 343 also recognizes people want to maybe change or remove other Spartan abilities that are in Halo 5. And right now, Halo, right now 343 is kind of like, hold your horses, let's pump the brakes a little bit before we just go completely wiping everything out about Halo 5. Which, personally, I think Halo 5 has some great mechanics while I'm still playing the game. I think it has so much more to offer, such deep mechanics and such a high skill ceiling that, uh, you know, I'd really hate to see some elements be removed. I think removing Grand Pound and Spartan Charge, you're not missing out on anything that makes Halo 5 great and maintains the awesomeness of what Halo ha is at its core. For now, 343 is like, let's take it easy. We're just changing this for now and we'll see how it plays out. We have to do a lot of testing. We have to, you know, make sure things are working out properly with the different game modes now because removing Spartan Charge certainly changes a few things, especially with movement in the game. How about making uh, different certain kind of jumps or just movement in general, which is such a huge part of what makes Halo 5 and removing an element like that can certainly change the aspects of how people move around the map, so they have to take that into consideration. So also right now, 343 is looking to add Oddball to HCS, but they really need to work out some of the details on it to make sure it's truly a competitive, fair experience, as well as they're going to be making updates to the map, the rig, and plaza as well. But anyways guys, that's the news for today. If you want to support this video and help this video get more notoriety so the community stays more informed with the recent updates to Halo, please make sure to tap that like button. It really does help out the video. If you want to stay up to date with any future content to Halo coming out, please make sure to tap subscribe because we're going to be talking more about the MCC updates, anything HCS, anything Halo related, anything with the potential of Halo 6. That's because that might be coming out in E3. And so, uh, if you guys want to keep in, in the know, make sure to tap that subscribe with the bell to make sure you keep notifications every time I upload anything awesome to this channel, which is going to be every time. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.